Hey guys, how are you? I'm so happy today. Um, look at those Merry Christmas sign and everything. Canterbury is glowing today. Look at that tree. Really cool. They did the um, Christmas um, decorations everywhere. Lights everywhere. It's really nice. And hopefully I have enough uh, memory in this. But anyway, I'm so happy today. I went and saw a house, um, another house in a different place. And it was, it was really nice. The house was so perfect. It's, for, it's a flat. Um, I'll be moving on my own. And I'm going to wait for their you know, response in a couple days, I think uh, towards the end of this week. And yeah, just I'm just coming from there and now walking home. It's still close to work and yeah, um, it's really nice, it's really nice. Uh, the area, I think I like it. I want, it's because um, I wanted to get out of Canterbury because like, I've been living here for so long anyway and after all those um, dumb shit that um, the other um, the agency I'm with they done to me, they lied to me and I don't want to be with them anymore anyway but yeah it's good that in a way I'm thanking them for doing um, for lying to me and you know making me making my life very hard so that it pushed me to go see other houses and be able to move to my own place now so thankful for them for that and now I'm on my way home it's really dark you can't see me I'm gonna do a eating show it's gonna be a vlog and eating show together I, I guess not sure not sure what I'm gonna do so I'm gonna do a smart price eating show because I have to save money because I have to pay six months in advance plus the deposit so I have to save lots of money to be able to do that because I have to do that always because um, my salary is not um, enough for them to like believe me something like that so I need to always pay six months in advance basically so yeah that's what I'm doing and going home now I'm gonna get the oh no I mean I walk past the bus um, bus stop, bus station. I think I need to go back because it's like I live so far away from the town center. Uh, thinking, yeah, I'm going back. I'm going back. Run, run, run! Don't want to miss the bus. I don't know what time it is, but I hope I don't miss it. I need to do my eyebrows so like urgently. Like, look at it. I'm gonna be the official McDonald's sign soon. I am. Yeah. I mean, I can still come to Canterbury. It is closed. <laughs> okay, I think my bus is there. Is it? Um. Let's go. Sorry about this um, weird angle. I lost my tripod thingy. It is this one. Just put something in there. That I lost that one um, because my lovely agency approved of me to move to the big room. And then they, after I moved completely in, they said move back to this room. And then I had one day to move. I completely moved in here. And then because they had to do the inspection, they didn't tell me. And then after the inspection, they said, you should be able to move now because the inspection is done, but just wait for the officer to come to the office and say if there's something damaged in the room. But there wasn't um, anything damaged anyway, so... And we'll call you. And they never did. I called them every day for a week or something. And then they decided to do inspection without telling me and to my room. And they see I have lots of stuff here, so they say the room is damaged because I have lots of stuff everywhere because I had to move in one move out in one day so yeah and they said I might need to pay two rents because I had some belongings in the room in the other room because I was waiting for them to um, just 
called me and said, yes, now you can move in to the big room because I was going to move back after the inspection. That's why my room is messy anyway. I am hopefully going to be able to move out from this place and get away from these horrible liars. Hi, Nihat, this is calling from your move things in Canterbury. I'm just phoning to let you know that we've got a viewing today for the room at um, I need to make sure that you've got all of your personal belongings out of that spare room now. Um, if it's not been cleared, then um, please note you will be charged to have it cleared. Um, so, yeah, we'll be there today at about quarter to one for a viewing. Any problems with that, let me know. On Yeah, so now uh, somebody else is viewing the big room. As um, <laughs> it should have been me after all these things that they've done to me. Giving me the wrong room and, you know, after he's leaving. But yeah, that's what they do, you know? But yeah, I have to forget about this and carry on as I um, hopefully move to the other flat as well. Yeah, fingers crossed for that. I'm going to have a smart price dinner today because I need to save money. Because for the other house that I'm moving in. And that's what I'm having. Macaroni cheese. Smart price. Asda. It's already ready I don't want it to get cold so I'm gonna start eating it hey can I call you later cuz I'm recording yeah I'm eating as well it's gonna get cold I tried this before but let's see how it's gonna taste now mmm I mean it's got cold now a bit cuz I've been talking but it's not bad for the price it's not bad it was 70p haha <laughs> mmm it's actually nice, kind of. Why am I blowing on it? Because it's not hot. It's a habit. And of course, Evian. Probably this is more expensive than that. Mm -mm -mm. Mmm. Mmm. This is really nice. I mean, it's alright. No, it's actually nice. I got two of these so I can eat it and save money. Because, as I told you, like, I need to pay the full amount of the other flat. <laughs> Guys, this is already, like, finished. Because it, it was really small. I think because nobody wants to be in the small room. They knew I was going to move to the big room. So they have been um, doing the viewings on this room for a while. And um, nobody wanted this room. So um, I think now they, they just want to chuck me back to this room. So they can um, sell the big room. Because no one is interested. That's what they've done to me in the beginning. They, they showed me the big room while it was already taken. And they said it was a mistake, but was it a mistake? Was it a mistake? After all that they've done? All of those lies saying that they've never ever told me that I can move into the big room. <laughs> it's not even one time made, it's not even one time. It's just literally like weeks ago as well. When the inspection was done, I just called and said, now can I move in? Yeah, I think you can move in now. But, um, just, just, uh, just to make sure, uh, we'll wait for the, we'll wait for the officer to come and say if it's something's damaged in the room and we'll call you and then, you know, never, they never end up calling back because, oh fuck, we can't sell the big room and chuck him in the back. I don't know, man. I don't know, life. I just gotta live it. Cause I was born here, you know? I chose to be born, so I gotta live it. Mm. Mm. She came today, earlier. I was gonna leave before, um, you know, quarter to one. And she came earlier, saying she knocked the door first like a million times and then nobody opens. Of course I ain't gonna open. And then like she, she entered the house saying, I don't want to say her name. Ah, I came. 
like so fake and it was so like so fake like you could tell from her voice like she was like stressed and kind of scared as well because all, all after all that she's done you know what I mean so I just um, went downstairs and I like didn't say anything and just left the house to go to my um, viewing to go and see the flat that um, I'm going to move in hopefully so yeah my life is amazing ah. I'll be out of this trash soon hopefully I can't wait to show you guys my new flat if I move in. I mean, I don't want to say lots of things out, like, in case I don't get it, but I hopefully I get it. Um, if not, I'll be stuck in this small room, probably. I'm gonna see you guys um, tomorrow. I can't really promise um, about it, but as soon as possible. And I love you and be happy and I will see you soon.